Hello everybody and welcome to your Mansfield's Tarot. I'm about to begin here with a reading. Now this is a general reading for a beautiful sign of Pisces. That being said, this is a general reading so it might not resonate with everybody. Please do take whatever does resonate with you and simply leave the rest of it aside. Now if ever you do have any questions and you really would like to have an answer fairly quickly, please do come and join me every night at 9 Eastern Standard Time. You can find me. We are doing three hours of live tarot reading, so we answer your questions. So please do come and join us. Also, I would like to mention that if you have not yet subscribed, please do click onto that subscribe button and that like button. So let's begin. This is for Love Pisces for the third week of September. We want to know what is going on. So Spirit, please do tell me. We are using here two different tarot decks and we are going to complete with three beautiful words of wisdom coming from Spirit. So here we go. Please, Pisces, please, Pisces, give me, please, Spirit, give me love for Pisces. Give me that love for Pisces. Give me those blessings. Give me those challenges. Give me what I need to know. Let's remove these two decks. And let's go find out. I am going to be taking 10 different cards out of this deck and then we're going to go and clarify with the following one. Go. And voila. So we have over here for Pisces I have the Four of Swords reverse. I have the Four of Pentacles reverse. Nine of Pentacles reverse. Three Pentacles reverse. I have the World upright. Swords. Ten of Swords upright. Hanged Man upright. Tower. Temperance and the Page of Swords. Now, my beautiful Pisces, what is going on? I am. Um, I'm not seeing and ending, but I'm seeing a lot of hurt. I'm seeing that you're kind of stuck into a situation. You don't want to be stuck into it. You do not want to be stuck into it, but you are. Nobody seems to be working into this relationship. Nobody seems anyways to be working in order to fix the relationship, to fix the issues that are present. And I'm seeing this with our three of pentacles into reverse. So I'm feeling as though right now we're kind of just feeling caged. We're feeling stuck into this relationship. We're feeling like our freedom has somewhat left. We want to leave, but at the same time, we want to stay. But while we're here, we just don't know where to go. We're not comfortable. We're not well. Um, things are just not right. I have over here the um, Four of Pentacles. It's as if, and I told you, I don't see any breakups here, but it's as if we don't really want to hold on to the other anymore. It's as if it has kind of drifted away. I do feel as though we do kind of want to start to get taking action. Okay, and I'm seeing this with the Four of Swords. So we're into this into this period, we're into this phase where things are just not feeling right. We need change. And my dear friend Pisces, you are going to start the change. This week is the beginning. It's the um, beginning of the end, if you will. Or the end and the new beginning. What I'm trying to say is new beginnings are coming towards for you, okay? This is about how I feel that, as I said, there's no, no tower moment coming on, but I strongly feel like everything is starting to be put back into movement because we're not healing. Nobody's working on fixing this relationship right now. So as much as we're caged, we want to stay, but we're having an urgency to leave. I'm not going to say anybody's leaving anybody this week. I feel like there's still something left to be done with this relationship. I feel like you're not complete with it yet. But at some point, I feel like the hurt will just be too much. I feel that you're going to want to move on at some point if this doesn't work out. So the healing would be the very most important thing to work on here. Let me take some more cards out and let me go see what's going on a little bit with um, a little bit more information by Spirit. Spirit, please do. Please give me, Spirit, some clarification on what is happening with Pisces love. Please, Spirit, clarifications, Pisces love. 
Give me some clarifications. Pisces. It's that heartache. You've been hurt. You've been you've been hurt. You want to start moving. You do. You're just unable to do so. You're not even really wanting any beginnings anymore. It's a lack of cooperation. So I don't know. You guys are sticking into this relationship. Are you sticking into it because of money? Because you're afraid? Even money. I'm not I'm not even quite not for most of you. I'm going to say most of you are afraid of leaving the relationship and starting something anew. Because you know that this relationship is just not really meant to be. Not right now, not at this moment. Again, those nine of swords over here, that pain, that sadness, the ten of swords is about the ultimate that you can have. This is really at that end of that pain. I feel like you need to get back into your power. You need to stand your ground. You need to you need to fight a couple battles before this is actually over. I feel like there's there's a necessity if you are going to decide that you're leaving, that this relationship is going to be over, there's a necessity to heal, to clear things up so nothing stays stagnant. So there are no remaining questions after. What is said is said, it is accepted, and it is dealt with. Let's go see what the, uh, let's go see what spirit has to say over here. What would be those three words that you would need to hear from spirit within this relationship? There's so much pain. There's so much pain. And they're not saying they're sorry. They're not. They're not saying they're sorry for what they've done or how they've made you feel. It's as if they are unhappy too. They're not happy neither. Nobody is happy within this relationship. But nobody is saying, I'm sorry. Nobody is willing necessarily to take some blame of something. Key word number one is about using your beautiful wisdom. It's about taking that time to find what is best. What is best for you? What is best for your relationship? It is time also to seek to seek some seek some help perhaps from elders or from people that you trust. Maybe talk with your ancestors if that is something that you do to try and find that beautiful wisdom. They know a lot that we don't know of. It's about finding your beauty again. I feel as though it has been a little bit lost. It's about finding the beauty in love again. Why? Because we all love, right? And we all want to be loved. But when something like this happens, we feel like we're not worthy. We feel like we're not loved. But it is not the case. You need to find that love within yourself again. And once you find that love within yourself, you will be able to find it also elsewhere. Third word here is about having a certain enchantment. It's about you finding that beauty in life again. I feel like you've been stuck into this situation for a little while and everything just kind of seems a little bit pessimistic. We're missing some opt, you know, some optimism here. So it could be really important to just look around you. Anything else that is not necessarily love related and look at the beauty that is around you. Look at how enchanting it is. Look at what the world has to offer you when you are feeling well. So this is the ending of this reading for you, uh, Pisces. This is truly about trying to find out what is your final decision. Is it a break? Are you going to continue? If you do have any questions you would like to join me, please do so. Live reading from 9 till midnight Eastern Standard Time. In the meanwhile, I do wish you many blessings. Please don't forget to subscribe, like the video. I will see you maybe later into the readings. Otherwise, tomorrow, have yourself a blessed day. Thank you for being there.